What's up everybody? Today we're going to make a video about Ida B. Wells. Ida B. Wells was born at Holly Springs, Mississippi in 1862. She was a, born as a slave and her parents were also slaves. She went to Russ University in Holly Springs and as a teenager she began teaching and she also started raising her siblings after her parents died of yellow fever. In 1882, Wells moved to Memphis and continued teaching there. She also continued her education later going to Fisk University in Nashville. When on a train ride in Tennessee, Wells bought a first class ticket. And while she was on this train, they told her she was going to move to like a lower priced car or where black people would ride on the train typically, which was like a smoking car. And she refused to move. So the conductor tried to physically remove her with some of the other crew. And while they was trying to take her off the train, she actually bit one of the people. But uh, they got her off the train. She ended up taking this train company to court, though. And in a local circuit court, she ended up winning a $500 settlement. But a state of Tennessee court ended up overturning the ruling, so she didn't get any money. After this, she started writing about racial injustice in the South. She used the pseudonym Lola to hide her real identity. After the lynching of one of her friends, she became very focused on anti-lynching writings though. So what happened with his lynching was racial tension was built in Memphis because in one neighborhood, there was already a white grocery store, but multiple black people came together and opened another black owned grocery store and it was called People's Grocery. So there was already a lot of tension between this white business owner and the white people of the area and these black people own people's grocery. And a fight that happened between a black kid and a white kid turned into conflict between these black adults in the neighborhood and white adults. And the black people at the store armed themselves because white residents came and attacked the store and during this whole attack, three white people were shot and wounded. So three men were arrested at the grocery store. One of them was one of the owners and they were going to be tried, but they actually got taken by a lynch mob. The black men's name were Thomas Moss, Calvin McDowell, and William Henry Stewart. They ended up being lynched. After this incident, Ida began writing about lynchings and keeping up with statistics on lynchings. She wrote about how after this incident, black people needed to save their money and move out of Memphis and move out of that area because they were going to be in danger for a long time and things probably weren't going to change for a while. So heeding her warning, 6,000 black people actually soon left Memphis. She traveled around to different sites of lynchings and studied photos and interviewed people and gathered statistics and put names on these cases and brought out the details. Before she started doing this, there was always this white narrative of, well, that black guy they lynched was just a rapist of white women or he was violent. They would paint them as violent or whatever. But she went out and she found out the real stories behind what happened. That's where we have a lot of our knowledge today of these incidents. One day while Wells was out of town, she was visiting New York City. Her publishing shop was raided by a white mob and they destroyed her shop and they threatened to kill her. So she didn't come back to Memphis. She stayed in New York. She moved to Chicago and she continued her works there. And she didn't return back to the South for three decades. In 1895, she published a thing called The Red Record, which was a statistical pamphlet about the lynchings in the South. Wells founded the National Association for Colored Women. She also attended meetings that helped establish the NAACP. Wells was also active in the women's rights movements, particularly for black women. Ida B. Wells died in 1931 in Chicago. Physical Column Productions, like, comment, and subscribe.